Hey guys, uh, happy Thursday. Uh, welcome back to uh, Kicking It With Ken. Um, not sure how many episodes I've done now, but uh, got glasses on today. Didn't feel like putting my contacts in. Uh, just got done working out, so here I am. <laughs> all sweaty and all that good stuff, but uh, just wanted to kind of check in with you guys, see how things are going with you, and uh, talk a little bit about uh, what's going on with me. So, the bad news is, is uh, I am diabetic <laughs> go figure right so it does run in the family and it's definitely not an uncommon thing in the world today so i've been doing some research and all that good stuff and you know it's a pretty scary thing i mean you really start to evaluate uh, where you're at what you're doing and um, how to become better so uh lately um energy levels are just really low and come to find out my um i, I went to the doc last week uh ran some tests uh, I'm down 20.2 pounds right now, so I am uh, dieting and exercising, uh, trying to avoid, uh, obviously, sugars, uh, low carbs, all that good stuff, but uh, just really a um, strong reflection of, you know, how we got here. I'm, I'm not going to make uh, any excuses. Uh, most of them, I'd say, probably since uh, late 20s, early 30s, I've been a, kind of a bigger guy. I've been up and down roller coaster, as many of you know, uh, with weight, but uh, now we're starting to, you know, affect the physical being of existence <laughs> so i've been researching all that good stuff and trying to learn and, and obviously get better so why not now versus uh you know just uh, going with the flow so um just wanted to talk a little bit about what that means um i've been pre-diabetic for years um pre-diabetic just basically means that your body's not creating enough insulin to adjust the sugar levels in your bloodstream which can cause fatigue, you know, all kinds of things, heart troubles, all that good stuff. So I uh, went to the doc. A1C was, I think, uh, I'd have to look, but I think it was around 6.8, and they want you about 6.4. So it's not drastic, but enough to, you know, cause for concern. Um, so basically he, he prescribed a, a, a monitor system where you prick your finger, so I've learned how to do that. Um, interesting enough, I just, you know, I actually ran it on Candy. Her blood sugar was, I think, 85, which is kind of low chase was 107 but he had eaten something already but mine's running well uh, yesterday was 180 today uh, this morning was 164 so i'm just trying to really judge where i need to be obviously you want to be below about 140 is is a decent number so i'm not terrible but it's it's obviously not great so uh i've been learning a lot with uh obviously insurance and um, programs to you know work on diabetes and um, at first you know everybody's doing this uh, Ozempic kind of thing which I, I know if you just search a lot of the movie stars are doing Ozempic and they're losing a lot of weight uh, some prescribed some not prescribed and quite honestly there's a there's a shortage for the medication and I, I think with that comes supply and demand so the cost for something like that is outrageous so one uh, i think you do it once a week it's like an injection thing uh that you do for for one month is about not insurance paid is about twelve hundred dollars so you're looking about for two months twenty four hundred dollars and quite honestly i just can't justify and i tried i called my insurance company and you know did that whole thing so currently i'm on metformin um i've done research on it uh, side effects are minimal and, and it's quite honestly it's cost effective and could possibly do the same thing that ozempic's doing so i did my first dose yesterday um did my blood sugar this morning it was 164 so it was a little bit lower but uh yeah that's that's kind of where i'm at so i need to you know really even more so now focus on what i'm putting in my mouth and it's interesting because i have a client as you know i do physician recruiting one of my clients always uh, bugged me to get the get the book Eat to Live. So I've been kind of thinking about it lately. Eat to Live. What 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 does that mean? It means basically eating to survive rather than eating for satisfaction. The the problem I think with that is is when you go so long for eating for satisfaction or you know what's your next meal or let's go to dinner. Or, it creates that kind of mental thing of oh this is good I feel good maybe I ate too much it tastes too good. But then I started kind of thinking, it's like, you know, how, how often do we think about food? And I think now more so than ever, I really need to think about food. What am I, it's like a, even this morning, the first thing I did, what am I eating for the day? I have to have a plan. And as sad as it sounds, you want to kind of be in the reverse mode of not thinking about it, just eating healthy, et cetera. But I need to almost plan what I'm eating for the day, when I'm eating, 
and making sure that I'm keeping my sugar levels um, normal. I did learn something uh, interesting enough. The reason that they want you to fast before you get your blood drawn is because during sleep hours is when your body does a lot of the workings of your blood system. So um, a lot of your insulin and sugar levels are higher in the morning after fasting because it's, it's basically uh, generating your system for, you know, the next day waiting for the next meal, etc. So that's why they, they have you fast. They want a true accuracy of what you are without anything in your body being processed. So, um, so thinking about that, just going back to the, you know, the food thing. So now I'm really just, what can I eat, what I can't, you know, et cetera. I was at a lull, I was stuck, but now that I'm really, really focusing on it, like I said, I was down another, you know, pound and a half today and I did my first, uh, you know, pill of metformin. Uh, no, no reactions or anything. I, I do just, I feel fatigue. Um, I'm working out. It's just, I don't have a lot of energy. So uh, I think the only uh, bad side effect of metformin is it can really lower your B12, which creates the energy piece. So I'm going to need to pick up uh, some B12. And again, this is all just kind of research on the, uh, on the inter internet. Things obviously need to change um, for health, health purposes. Like I said, my, my brother has it where he does injections and other things, uh, et cetera. My, both my parents had it. Um, so my brother Dean doesn't, but he also keeps his weight in, in check. So uh, that's the goal is to, to just work on this for my, and, and my biggest fear is when you get on any medication. I don't, I don't wanna be on medications for the rest of my life. So my goal is we're gonna do this for three months, re-gauge, check, and see where we're at. Cause you can't just take something like metformin and get off of it, you have to, um, kind of wean off of it, I guess, uh, is how it is. You don't want to, you know, flip flop all that good stuff. So, uh, I'll, I'll obviously take all that advice from, from the, from my doc. So that's kind of the diabetes thing. I don't know if you know much about it, but, uh, I am in a s slightly beginning state of the, the real deal here. So we're going to work on it. We're going to get it better. Um, Candy and I've been walking. I'm sure you've seen some of her Instagrams and, you know, stuff like that. So we're, we're, we're trying, I'm trying a little, obviously a little harder. I, I don't want to say I was bummed, but her being her with her sugar, that's, that's actually good. So she, she got some snacks yesterday. I'm like, oh man. And, and, and of course I don't want my wife to be diabetic, but it's nice to have kind of a support system where you're kind of going through something together. That's selfish. I would never want that for, for her to be diabetic or to deal with what I'm going through. But, uh, you know, she's, she's doing her best to, you know, champion me. I mean, when I got the results from, uh, the blood work, I, uh, you know, came and talked to her. I just said, I, I'm, I'm going to need help here. So, and she's done it. She's pushed me a couple times Monday. I worked out and then she's like, let's go for a bike ride. So I worked out twice on Monday, which it's fine. But, uh, the hardest part is I don't mind doing it. It's just the motivation of getting started. You, you take off with your day and things get moving. That's why it's best to I guess do it the first thing in the morning. So the, the bummer is, is growing up as a kid, we kind of all ate what we wanted. You're running around, you're active, all that good stuff. And then it just eventually it, it catches up to you. And I was very, very active. I mean, I was always in great shape. I played sports and now I'm this, you know, almost 50 year old who needs to get my body back to at least, at least justified as a 49 year old male versus, you know, even when I get on the scale, it says you're, you're 55 based on these schematics, all that. But you know, the scale only tells you so much. Everything else is how you feel. So we're going to do this. Uh, I'll give you an update uh, next video I do on how we're doing and, but, uh, going to work through it. Um, you know, the good thing is, is there's a chance to get better. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, I did want to go back and talk a little bit, uh, about uh, my job interview. I did not get the job. Um, I don't know why I just got a computer generated notice saying we're looking at other candidates. Was I qualified? Absolutely. I, I don't know what it was. Maybe, maybe they found my YouTube videos and <laughs> didn't like that. I was on social media, whatever. Um, it, do I feel defeated? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I, I'm in the sales world. I, I take beat down some probably more than most people. Um, I've, I've learned that uh, no, uh, no becomes a norm for someone like me and I'm able to recuperate from rejection probably better than most uh, considering I've been doing it most of my life. So were my feelings hurt? No. I mean, you're always trying to find yourself value, I guess, uh, on the marketplace and maybe they were looking for something uh, obviously a little different. Um, on, on a good note, my recruiting business has actually picked up. So doing, doing pretty well, closed, uh, you know, closed a, a couple jobs here and uh, got some in the works. So, 
um, I could still find I still will have a financial year as if I were to take that job. So the only the only thing that bums me out is um, the uh, benefits of of healthcare um, are just not as good. I mean, it's it's terrible that. It's not terrible. I mean, you, you, you have people that don't have insurance that have it now, and we're, we're paying for this. And then you have Medicare. It's like I'm the one paying the most, but getting the less service. And I feel that's kind of a kind of a bummer. So does that mean Medicare for all is the right solution? Maybe. I think all it does is just raise everybody's taxes uh, more, and it's still costing me probably percentage-wise the the same. So that would have been nice, is to have uh, you know benefits of health insurance uh, as we get older. So. Um, I did want to, uh, what else, Candy can wanted me to, you know, mention colonoscopy again coming up. So yeah, I'm nervous. Uh, I got the flush uh, coming next week. Uh, I think it's Thursday, actually Thursday, so I'll probably have to film on Wednesday. But uh, um, yeah, that's coming up, so I'm a little nervous. Um, the unknown, uh, the flush, I've done one before, it didn't, didn't go so well last time I had it. So Hopefully, knock on wood, the diabetes thing's all I have to deal with and everything in the colon is, is good. That's what, that's what we're hoping for. I don't want to start having uh, health conditions. That's another reason to uh, eat better and get in shape. So um, I did want to go back, and we may have a slight pause here. Go back. Someone had uh, previous questions. Okay, so so here's a question from, from Heather. Uh, I've seen Heather's comments many times before. Has his doctor suggested Ozempic for weight loss? Yeah, actually, that's, that was our first step. Uh, in the uh, the diabetes thing, I wanted to get on Ozempic, and unfortunately, I am not. And the reason my insurance declined uh, any coverage is I'm not at that higher stage because uh, they have uh, pharmacists and underwriters in the health insurance companies that determine what drugs are right for you. They override your doctor. <laughs> they override everything uh, as the insurance company decides. And they they said oh, I'm I'm not. Uh, a candidate for Ozempic. So, so anyways, uh, you know the the recruiting business is doing well. Um, Final four basketball is over. UConn won. Um, I did have them as my um, second seat. I was losing. Uh, everyone was making fun of me that I picked Purdue to win it all, and uh, they lost. But I fought my way back and actually ended up winning the pool. Uh, nothing really going on in the sports. We caught our first baseball game. Uh, actually, this is really cool. A um, um, a buddy of Blake's who he played football with, uh, Joey Weimer has been playing um, baseball, minor league baseball, and actually he was supposed to go up opening day. They didn't call him. Someone got injured. So now he's actually in the starting lineup center fielder for the Milwaukee Brewers, which is really cool. So I went over to his house Saturday. We watched his first game. His first at bat, he got a double. Kids were all cheering. I think they did a they, they did a little gambling on uh, if he would get a hit or not. So um, actually pretty cool that uh, one of Blake's good buddies are all on message chat. And you would never know this kid is a Major League Baseball player. Um, the humblest kid I've probably ever met. He doesn't even talk about it. It's it's just uh, he's having a good time. So congratulations, Joe, on your uh, Major League uh, debut with the Milwaukee Brewers. Other than that, guys, I uh, just wanted to give you the diabetes update. Um you know, just uh, weather-wise, uh, I'm sure you, all the storms uh, went through yesterday. Uh, everything stayed intact uh, around here, which is good. But uh, weather was uh, 70, 77, I think it got up to yesterday. So the nice weather's coming. I'm excited about it. Uh, keep telling the dogs about three more weeks till we get the pool open. And, you know, tell Tucker to get his, uh, his leg rested up so he's ready to go. One last request. I keep talking to Candy about going live on TikTok. She has not done that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into my... Uh, she has all the followers, but I have my phone. So I don't have a login for Our Family Nest TikTok. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all you guys do me a favor. Because I don't think you can go live until you have so many followers. I'm going to ask all you guys if you can go to TikTok and follow KK Marino. That's K-K-M-A-R-I-N-O on TikTok. If I get enough followers, that way I can go live and just chit chat with you guys live and give you something to uh, to watch. Keeney and I have talked about doing podcasts. Uh, that might be something here in the future. Uh, always looking for good topics. But hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you. Um, good catching up. Glasses. Oh, the short story on the glasses is I have two pair. The other ones I wear so much that they kind of they're getting ruined. So this is my second pair. I don't like these as much. They kind of sit on my nose a little harder than the other ones, but, and you guys don't see me in glasses all that much. So luck, lucky you today. Um, no contact day. So um, anyways, appreciate you. Take care and we'll see you guys soon.